It's on. Hi, this is Jason from ADS in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, today at the shop, we're going to be installing a brand new unit um, called the Saddle Tramp, which is a BTHD01. It's an actual Harley Davidson Bluetooth plug and play interface um, that works with 2006 to 2013 Harley Davidson stock Harley decks. Um, what we did is we already went ahead and we started some of the prep work on the bike, got some things installed. We're still going to walk through with you guys what comes in the kit and what you need to do to the bike in order for this thing to work appropriately. So what comes in the kit is the actual interface here and as you can see it's got the plug and play uh, plugs right here. It's got a USB uh, output plug which we'll get into shortly and all, all you have to deal with is the power and ground wires which will show you the couple of solutions um, that we suggest for this. It does come with you know quick taps um, we suggest you don't use these if you're somebody that trusts them and feel like uh, you can use them and there's no problems by all means use them it makes your installation a little bit quicker uh, may not be as effective but it does make it a little bit quicker um, what we did in return is we actually came up with um, uh, positive and negative shorts uh, put male ends on the end or female ends on the end of them which I'll show you on the bike what we did we soldered into the plug uh, the points um, on the bike in order to run the power in the ground. You're going to need a 22 millimeter uh, one inch hole saw bit um, if you choose to install the USB um, slot adapter that comes with it for charging and streaming from your mobile device um, if you don't want to use the USB. You're going to need some zip ties um, obviously to clean up the wires and if you choose to solder the power in the ground you're going to need a good solder gun and obviously some solder and a pair of scissors would not work uh, not be a bad idea either when cutting back some of the loom um, that holds the wires in. You get an instruction manual as well um, that is very detailed so simplistic in explaining exactly what it is that you have to do and how to install this um, and we'll get into that as we walk over to the bike. So let's go ahead and take a walk over to the bike and we'll get into what we did over here. So obviously we, we took off the fairing which you know you've got three bolts um, up on up on top on the windshield um, and then you've got two on each side um, and the fairing will come right off after you disconnect obviously your headlight uh, uh, your headlight clamp uh, clip not clamp um, this is a 2011 street glide she does have the boom audio upgrade in this it does not have um, the Harley Davidson iPod interface that's in it in the event that these bikes do have the Harley um, iPod interface that's already in it and you want to keep that. There is a solution um, on these units, a SAT plug, um, that allows for you to keep that interface um, and the detailed instructions will walk you through again very easy, very simple plug and play type of a situation to where literally all you have to do is cut this wire, plug this piece into the interface along with uh, the two bus ends and, and it works just fine. Um, there is a mounting bracket here that is meant to plug right into or screw right into here um, the side of the Harley Davidson stock brackets then it sits nice and stuck without bouncing around. I still would even though that that uh, screws in I still would lay some uh, velcro so the unit just doesn't flap around. We all know how Harleys vibrate like crazy and I'd hate to hit, uh, see the interface get damaged. So what we did here is we just put some velcro on the back because obviously we can't install uh, the clip on the nut and we're just going to take this and we're going to put this right here which leaves enough clearance due to it being as slim as it is for the fairing to still get over the top of it. Okay. So what Harley calls for um, is for this to plug right into the 30 plus pin connector that's right here in the back of the deck. You just pull this off. You're going to plug it right into this end and you're going to plug this right back into the stereo. Plug and play is essentially done. Um, now for the power, in order to power the unit, it requires for you to pull the main stereo plug on the back of the stock deck and you're going to find pin 19 and pin 20 which is going to be a power and ground feed into the back of this unit. Most of the Harley plugs are numbered so you start at 16 work your way over to 19 which is going to be the ground. Okay. 19 will be the ground and 20 is going to be your power. Okay. Now you're going to have to pull this back. You're going to have to cut some of that away. Disconnect your battery. It's the safest and the smartest thing to do for your system. 
if you choose to cut these two wires, you can do so to solder them, heat shrink them. Otherwise, you can pull back the wires, split them, weed in both of these, solder them the appropriate way, and then wrap them. And as you can see, we have two female connections that we put on this end. Um, the deck comes with two male connections. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this, um, ground to ground, obviously, to the, 19. to the 19, and then you're going to take the power to pin 20 that we soldered. They're nice and tight. No water is getting in them. Run these back up, and then with, when you zip tie, wrap some electrical tape around that or other loom if you like. Zip tie it back up and you're just going to turn, plug that right in and your unit now has power. Um, the other thing that we did, um, this customer chose to use the USB plug which charges and allows for streaming from your device. So that's the 22 millimeter one inch hole saw that you're going to use. What you want to do is you're going to lay down some tape completely over the area that you're going to want to drill through to avoid any kind of marring on the in, uh, interfering. When you drill through that, pull the tape off, put this through, and this will actually have a ring on the other side of it right here with a rubber grommet on the back side. Put that through, tighten that up. It doesn't have to be excessively tight. It will cinch down on itself um, without you stripping out any of the threads. Put the cap back on and you're good to go. On this side, you're going to grab the interface unit and you're going to see the plug that comes right off of it. This is keyed, so be careful of this. Pay attention to where the key is so you don't bend any of the pins. Just slide that right in and that's it. You're done. This will all get cleaned up obviously um, when we're done with the installation and zip tie it, make it all nice and neat. I'm going to walk you through how to pair it real quick, but literally this is it. It's done. It is plug and play. It could not be any simpler. It allows for you to keep the stock Harley deck and still have that Bluetooth capability that you want with phones nowadays and a charging capability with the USB port. Um, to charge the phone or to uh, pair the phone, it's real easy. Once everything is hooked up, you hook your battery back up. All you're going to do is you're going to turn the bike on. The radio is going to come on. And we already have this paired, but I'm still going to walk you through this. The radio is going to come on. You're going to hit your right controls to scroll through the options. You're going to see a new option over here that says BT. Just click on the BT. And then you're going to go into your phone. This is a Samsung. You'll go to Bluetooth, pull it down, and you'll see right here on your Bluetooth, you have a new option, HD BT. Click on that, it will say connected. Once it's connected, pick a song and you're playing. As you can see, the handlebar controls work for volume up and down. And next song also works with handlebar controls. Again, completely plug and play. Very simple to install. Literally takes less than an hour once you get the fairing off. Once you decide to solder in the wires, it takes less than that if you choose to use the scotch locks and tap into the wires. Again, we don't suggest you do that. We highly suggest you do it the right way. Use some heat shrink. Protect the component, your wires, and your charging system. Don't take any risk with the, t with the taps. That's it. These units uh, we do have in stock. We are shipping. The units are available right now. They're $250 plus shipping. We ship U uh, USPS flat rate shipping, so it's about $5.50 for shipping. Um, so you're looking at $255 shipped to your door. If you are in the area of Appleton, Wisconsin and would like us to install, it's 310 installed, out the door, fully warrantied, and available now. This is Jason with ADS. Uh, please make sure to check out uh, ADS920.com, coming very soon. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Take care.